Thank you for staying with Champion News Talk Radio. Today we have Christian Berner with us. Well, why from are you thanking them uh, for being with us? We're the ones that are doing the service. They are benefiting from our service here. You <laughs> keep thanking them. They should thank us for the remarkable thing we're doing, trying to bring back American freedom. Well, it is mutually well, beneficial. Thank you so much for having me on as well. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Now, okay, what are some of the organizations in the areas that you're working in? You're, you're a national organization, right. I'm hearing, and you're, right. you started the whole thing. Right. We founded our organization in August of last year, but um, as I was saying earlier, though, the amount of paperwork and dealing with the IRS took a very long time. So we're just beginning operations at a variety of high schools and colleges. You started um, a C4, which... Uh, yes, we're a 501C4 That shouldn't have been too, too complicated a thing for the government to decide on because there are limits left in place that you can't do politics or well, I, I'm, you can't do candidates and things like that in it. Right. So they didn't have to consider that because uh, that wouldn't be in the words that are in the, the brief that controls you with the government. Right. Well, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be here today. I just, uh, I just got back from a big IRS um, investigation, uh -huh. um, just got out of one of their cellars. Got a couple bruises uh -huh. on my body, but <laughs> um, you know the IRS um, scandals um, involving the C4 organization so are astounding. But at the same time, I'm not very surprised. Um, as I was saying, we've established these local chapters at high schools to get people involved in education um, and political things before they're even able to vote. Because I think very often especially the first time that these students are voting, or even the college students, maybe it's their second or third time only voting, is they're only truly voting based on what they've heard from their parents, what they've heard from academia. It's, oh, it's a, that's a it's scary It can be thought. often a very biased the or press. skewed, or the press. skewed or right, and the media. Press. Right, they're low very information voters and they're emotional voters. I mean, right. let's face it, hope and change sounds fantastic. Hope, oh, it does, but hope, it's based solely change. on emotion. emotion. It's an emotional mm -hmm. argument. And so what we're looking to do with Restore Principles is keep all the information very rich in content. So what I mean by that is on our website, for example, we're having students getting involved by, by putting their political opinions and essays on a variety of topics. So for example, I have a couple law students writing constitutional arguments on our website. Wow. Right. Um, and in other things, if um, other students are interested in public speaking, that's why we have these local chapters, is to have events at these high schools and colleges on a variety of political topics. Um, we've opened up so far in the state of Illinois five local chapters. Um, Where are they located at? Yes, um, so they include uh, Lamont High School, mm -hmm. Carl mm -hmm. Sandburg High oh, School. Oh, in the city? Uh, in Orland Park, Carl oh, Sandburg. okay, okay. Carl Sandburg. Um, the, high school in uh, Wilmette, Illinois. Um, and then in addition to that, we also have local chapters at Elmhurst College and the University of Illinois, then in Champaign. Is that the fifth? Um, yes, that's, that's five, but we're in the works to add many more, though. I'm going to add a little humor to this. I took a course in speaking in high school. Okay. And I was, had to give a little speech to the class, and I had five points. And uh, for the life of me, I couldn't remember the fifth. <laughs> and it, lo and behold, uh, the governor of Texas, who's Perry, is a, is a very fine man and would make a, a fine president, I, I do think. But in one of his nationally presented things um, in, in a discussion, he had something with three points in it. And for the life of him, he oh, couldn't in remember the, the third debate, point. Yes. It destroyed him as yes. a candidate. Well, yep. a, a big, I was interested that right. you had five points and you knew them all. You're, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> what's, what's really important in our organization, Restore Our Principles, is that everyone to some capacity is a leader. So all of our local chapters are independently operated, per se. Mm -hmm. So we have the national organization doing things like publishing these important articles and educational materials to hand out to the local chapters. But each local chapter then can focus on some things that are highly important to them. So some of the things that really hit home with college students are the things happening, of course, right on campus. And so, for example, at the University of Illinois, um, there was a proposal by one of the students running in the student election to install 1,000 security cameras all around campus. 1,000. 
And of course, the costs weren't figured into all that. And so what our leadership team down there at the university did is we called them out on that. And he said, first off, there's no cost. You, you, you factored in no cost this proposal whatsoever. <laughs> but in addition to that is there's a lot of privacy concerns. Yeah. And this was something that, honest, that honestly brought in people from both sides of the aisle. This wasn't a conservative or liberal argument where only conservatives were agreeing that it was ridiculous to have such, such privacy breaches. And so each local chapter is focused on many of its own political issues. But then, of course, as you can imagine, there's so many issues, though, that affect the nation as a whole. What do you think? What's your number three issues you got? About 30 seconds. What are the three top <laughs> issues you'd like to focus on? Right. So our organization is willing to address every political issue out there. So we're not afraid to address fiscal, economic, or social issues. We truly feel like in order to get this, to turn this country around, you have to address all of them. You can't just they're, focus they're on economic matters. Um, right. I was reading an article by uh, Phyllis Schlafly recently. You cannot separate uh, the moral and, right. uh, and the fiscal issues. They are intertwined inextricably. Right. For, for, for example, generational theft, that is a moral issue.